welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to talk about the mindset of high achievers if you want to achieve you need to possess a certain mindset to be able to achieve and today i'm going to take you through some of the things that you high achievers do to get that mindset and you can also equally do that so let's go straight to number one so first thing is high achievers they are unafraid to ask for help there are a lot of people who are suffering, who are going through a lot of challenges, but you are scared to ask for help just because you are scared. But uh, the successful people and the high achievers, they have that mindset to tell them, that yes, they can always ask for help. And once they ha have the confidence to ask for help, they always get help. And that, that is a making of the universe. If you don't ask, you will never get. There are a lot of people who are shy, they feel like they, they, they get turned down. But high achievers, they have that mindset to let them know that they have to try and ask for help. So whatever you are doing, just ask for help if you need help. It may be helping someone to de uh, delegate on your behalf, doing something for you, even giving you some resources to continue your journey. So that is what you need to do. So high achievers, they are unafraid to ask of, for help. Number two is, they never stop learning. How many times have you read? How many times have you uh, watched a video to learn something? And that is the one qualities uh, or mindset of high achievers. They never stop learning. So they go to schools, they enroll in classes, short courses, they read books, and reading is a habit for them. They like reading because they want to learn more. And that's why Warren Buffett says that he reads almost every day and he dedicates time to read. So high achievers, they never stop learning. They keep on learning until they get what they want. So you need to cultivate this habit of learning. So it might be learning from your mentors, learning from people who are above you, learning to get the right knowledge before you execute, learning from people who can help you learn. And you can read more, uh, enroll in courses that can help you, watch YouTube videos, Google research, and just learn and never stop learning. Because we are all students of this world. Each one of us, we are students and we are passing by. So no matter what it is, we just need to keep learning to make that a possibility. So never stop learning if you want to become a high achiever or if you want to possess that mindset that high achievers have. So you do need to stop learning. And number three is, for high achievers, they see failures as a gift. Majority of us, if you are uh, not performing, or you are b performing like below average, when you fail, it deters you. But with high achievers, they love failure. Because they know that in order to win, you must fail. In order to execute, success will never come without failure. So failing one or two things, and sometimes you just win that jackpot and don't even fail in a project. But then failure will come. And long uh, high achievers, they see it as a gift to help them learn. We already talk about the learning ability, and this is one of the qualities of high achievers. They learn, and they see failure as a gift. So if they fail, they move to the next project. And how can you apply this in your project? Whenever you fail, find time, go back, reassess, and go back. Start again. Try again. Make it possible again. And you can make it possible. So you see failure as a gift and have that strong will to keep moving no matter what. And uh, high achievers also, they are willing to take risk. They do things that you, when you see them, you will never appreciate that, okay, if you were the one, you will not even do it. But they are willing to take risk. And this world is all about taking risk. Think about it. If you are driving, you are taking risk. If you are drinking any water, you are taking risks because you don't know who has packaged this water. They may have put in some uh, uh, poison or whatever it is from the factory. How will you know? You don't have the tools to know and you will take it, and you are gone. So whatever we do in this world, we take risk. 
but high achievers go the extra mile to know that yes, they are taking risk and they are taking calculated risk and they are willing to invest. And that's why they can invest a lot of money just to make more money. And you, people who are not high achievers, they are afraid of risk. When they see risk, they run. But high achievers, they are willing to take risk. And uh, high achievers also, they take action. It's all about taking action. Are you willing to take action? Can you take action? Are you willing to succeed? And that is what stops many from starting. They fear to take action. They keep on telling themselves, tomorrow I'll do it. Procrastinating. Tomorrow next I'm going to do it. Next year I'm going to start my project. When I complete school, I'm going to start this project. Let me work small. When I finish my five to nine uh, job, I'm going to do this. Let me wait to get to 35 years. Let me wait to get to 40 years. But then high achievers, they don't wait. They take action. And sometimes they don't even figure it out all. But they just take a step. And that step will lead them to another step. And that step will lead them to another step until they succeed. So that's the quality that you need to do. Take action. If you want to start a business, you may not have the capital. But start registering it. Start a Facebook page in the, on, the, uh, on behalf of the business. Call some customers. Research. Take action. Take that first step. And once you take that first step, you take that action, you will figure it out all. And high uh, achievers, they are confident. Let me repeat this. They are super confident. They believe in themselves. They don't look at their body, whether it's deformed, but they believe in themselves because they know that confidence is within them. Confidence is not what they wear. Confidence is not confidence. It's not about how people see them or what people talk uh, say about them. They are confident in themselves. So whatever they are doing, if they are going to start a business, they are confident that that business will succeed. They are confident that things will work out the way they want things to work out. They believe and they take action. They have the confidence to appreciate that, yes, we are the ones and I'm going to do it. And that's the confidence that they have. And based on this confident, the confidence, they are able to start, they are able to take risks, they are able to believe in themselves, and they go to places. And based on this confidence, they can ask for help. And they know that, yes, there's nothing attached. They are going to win. And that is the power of what? High achievers, and that's the mindset that they have. They are confident in themselves, even if no one believes in them they will believe in themselves. So it should apply to your life. Go out, be confident. Whether you are black or white, whatever, whatever the type of religion you belong to does not matter. If You may not even have money in your pocket, but always show confidence. Be confident about yourself. If you want to start a project, be confident that you will win. And that is how you can make it. And also, they never give up. They never give up. Self-confident. They have confidence. They have what it takes to win. And they never, ever give up. When you beat them today, they will come back. If they fail today, you see them preparing for next week. When you, they fail today, they will come back. If they fail this year, next year, expect to see them. There are people that you can't even predict because they never give up. They fail and they fail more than average people, but they stand up and they keep moving. They always stand up and they keep moving. So uh, use this principle in your life. You may start a project and things may not go on well. Maybe because your research didn't go on well, someone disappointed you, you invested money somewhere and the money never came back again. Fire, burglary, arm robbery, go back, stand up, start again, do it again. Never give up on you. Never give up on that project. And that is how you can win. Just emulate this and never give up. No matter what it is, never give up. Keep showing up. Believe, 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 and keep believing in yourself. And then you can win. And then you can win. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa. Let's connect. Let's do more. You can reach out to me uh, via this email. And also, this is my WhatsApp number. Let's connect. And I'm a public speaking coach. I can help you 
I can coach you to speak with confidence. I can coach you to do your YouTube. I can coach you to do your podcasting because I believe that it's possible. Never give up on you. Never stop believing. Never stop dreaming. Let's see you in the next video. I subscribe. Subscribe to this video. If you are not uh, to my YouTube channel or to whatever you are listening to this, let's do this and let's keep doing this. I believe in you. I believe in the power of your dreams. Thank you very much. And let's do more. And let's do more.